13 reasons why anti-rocker is better. Hi YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today I'm going to tell you why it's better to skate anti-rocker. And this little section of the promise. Okay, so 13 reasons why skating anti-rocker is better. Starting with number one, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to get two urethane wheels or two bigger wheels than to get four, right? Yes, very important. You will go through your wheels faster, but you can invest your hard earned money into getting some better urethane. So yes, anti-rocker is cheaper. Reason number two why you want to skate anti-rocker, it's lighter. To have smaller wheels in the middle than all wheels the same size, it's usually lighter. You can even go with wheels that don't have bearings in the middle, like these grind rocks that I got here. So when you have wheels like this, it's simply lighter. You have smaller wheels in the middle and four less bearing per skate. So you can be getting like 150 to 200 grams lighter, which is quite a lot for a lot of people. Now, reason number three why you want to skate anti-rocker, it's more stable. I don't know if you ever felt like you want to go to a ramp and you feel like your skate going like that. Well, when you skate anti-rocker, you have only two points touching the ground and the wheels are far apart, making your skate way more stable. So, yeah, skating anti-rocker is more stable. Reason number four, why you want to skate anti-rocker. It's so much easier to change frames. If you're with your friends and you want to try each other's frames, with two bigger wheels only, like with anti-rocker, most of the times in most frames, you can just stick a tool from the top and change the frame without needing to remove the middle wheels. So that could be another reason. And by the way, <laughs> reason number five, it's smoother to grind with anti-rocker and the reason why it's smoother is because the wheels in the middle are usually a lot harder and most times even plastic when you have plastic wheels or extremely hard wheels in the middle when you grind and if the wheels touch you will not feel the wheel sticking so it's just smoother when you when you grind it's just a smooth feeling while you grind and we can go straight to reason number six. But before going to reason number six, let me just tell you that this video is sponsored by Rollerblade, which is the company that makes these skates right here. These are the blank Sean Keen skate. I'm skating them anti-rocker with the original stock blank frame. They're super good. Like, I mean, the frame goes inside the sole plate because they use a system where there's a hole in the sole plate. There's like a a recessed piece where the frame can go through. The system is actually called direct mount because the frame goes into the boot and the sole plate goes all the way around, making it even easier to do some of the grinds because it feels like you're closer to the ground. Lots of control with this skate. But now, let me go to reason number six why anti-rocker is better, and that is it's easier to grind. I said it previously, it's smoother, but it's not just smoother, it's actually easier because most times, anti-rocker frames they have deeper grooves meaning that you don't need to lean your foot as much and because the space the grinding space is bigger a lot of times imagine if you're doing a backslide and if you need to put your foot completely perpendicular to the to the rail like to be able to grind when you go anti-rocker you can do it on an angle 
And by doing it on an angle, what's going to happen is you don't need to lean your foot as much. Sometimes your foot goes almost straight. So for some tricks, it just makes it easier. For me, it would be the front side torque. So when I do a front side torque with anti-rocker, it's just so much easier. Now, let's go to reason number seven. You can use bigger wheels. Yes, it's true. So, because you usually have two smaller wheels in the middle, you can actually use bigger wheels in the front and back without being scared of getting stuck on ledges and rails and all that. There was even a couple of brands, including Rollerblade, that in the past they had a skate with really big wheels. They had, a, I think it was 72 millimeter wheels. And that's awesome because you can get all the good stuff from anti-rocker but still roll fast. So this is a cool thing about anti-rocker. While if you're skating four wheels the same size, if you put four bigger wheels, it's easier to get stuck. Let's put it that way. And now, <laughs> reason number eight. For me, something that I really like about skating anti-rocker is that I can use a shorter wheel base without the skate being extremely nervous. So I can use shorter frames. And when you use a shorter frame, you can also do manuals like toe rolls and heel rolls better because having a shorter wheel frame will mean that the front and the back wheels are going to be closer to the center of your foot so when you do tricks like this or tricks like that they're going to be easier with a shorter frame reason number nine why you skate anti-rocker and not freestyle huh you got wheels in the middle and they roll so when you do something that has stairs. If you do a grind on a, on a street obstacle, either a ledge or a rail, and if you come out mid obstacle and if you need to roll downstairs with anti-rocker, it's a bit easier than if you have no wheels in the middle. So the wheels will roll through the stairs and will allow you to just go downstairs without sliding to the side as easy. It can still happen. Reason number 10, come on. Try to go downhill with the flat setup and try to go downhill with this. Some people, was asking me, why did you go down that street in San Diego with aggressive skates? Well, having one wheel in the front and one in the back, it's just so much more stable. It's like way less speed wobbling when you skate with this. So, if you're gonna skate really fast, this will give you a lot less speed wobbling. Good luck, Godspeed, Ricardo. So because it's more stable, let's go to reason number 11. And the reason number 11 is if you're going to be doing big gaps, big rotations, when you land on something like this, it's more stable. Imagine you do like a big 540. It's not me. It's not me. No jumper here. I don't jump. But if you do like a big gap and if you're spinning, when you land on anti-rocker, it's way easier to stick your landing. Just the way it is. And now, reason number 12, as someone who loves to do wheel slides, I'm not talking about shuffles, I'm talking about wheel slides. When you do wheel slides with the anti-rocker frame, there's less points of contact touching the ground. So, you can do longer wheel slides with anti-rocker. If I wanna do like a front side wheel slide, I can do it way longer with anti-rocker than if I have four wheels touching the ground. And now, reason number 13. And the last one, when you skate anti-rocker, you get street skating core points. You're a tiny bit closer to be like Alex Brosco. Skates anti-rocker is the best skater in the world and skates anti-rocker, so yeah. Anti-rocker, it's the way to go. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something today. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something today, if you didn't like something about this, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't like it, make sure to leave me a thumbs down. If you like it, you can also drop me a comment and say what you like about this video. If you didn't like it, drop me a comment. Let me know what you didn't like. You already subscribed, so you're gonna watch the next ones and you can check the progression or not. It's important for me to know what you guys think. Other than that, you can always become a patron if you wanna support what I do here. It's a way for you to have access to a lot of exclusive content that I do for patrons. And to finish this video the same way as I finish every other video, I would just like to remind you to never forget why we all started skating and that is because it's fun, right? Yeah. Thank you Rollerblade for sponsoring this video and see you on the next one. Triple backflip. Let's see. 
maybe three and a half.